64% of women agree that judgments passed on them have affected their ability to reach their true potential. I think all the women here will agree that these judgments always make us take a step back. You know, uh, they kind of hinder our, um, our free flow. We are always a bit cautious, we are always a bit conscious. So I'm not surprised that it's 64% of women who feel like that. It's quite alarming at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but then it just, it's not just the women, Vidya, it's also the men who, all, who have these judgmental issues and they completely have a very typical mindset that if a woman like you is wearing a sari, she's like very beautiful at home, but then no, no, not so good at the conference desk over there. Uh, no, but I think you know that's also because um, in our society, invariably women derive their identities from men. Right. Which is why, you know, um, I'm not surprised that actually 69% of men agree that they uh, judge women on the basis of their appearance, which is more than the number of women who feel that uh, they are judged on the basis of appearance and that affects them. Obviously, because this is where we get that from. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to move forward and ask you to flip a page more for the next study which has been unveiled. And uh, you know what, uh, I truly feel that it's not, or rather I would ask you, do you really think it's only the strangers who make these judgments on us, the women? I, I honestly don't think that uh, judgments of strangers affects us as much as judgments from, you know, family, friends, your significant others, the people who are most important to you in your life. And do they make judgments on you? Do you think so? I think so. And today, of course, social media has only facilitated this judgment that much more. Absolutely. So it's not just, um, you know, your immediate others, but also friends who you've not been in touch with for 10 years. They are commenting on your looks and they are commenting on, um, you know, what you're doing, how you're doing in life. So I think it all adds up 72% women agree that working women face more judgment judgments on their looks. Yeah. Or are they close than housewives? Yeah. So the more you face the world, the more you take up the challenges, the more you know judged well, you are. Yeah, I think so. Preconceived notions on the mental setup of Indian men that is not just Indian men, women no, as well. Indian society. 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 I think that's how we perceive ki achha, agar, because when you step out, when you step out of your, they're asking us to go ahead. When you step out of your comfort zone. I think you become that much more visible to the world and that much more vulnerable to judgment, which is why 72% working women, uh, sorry, women feel that working women are more prone to judgment than those who stay back at home, homemakers, housewives, whatever we like to, like to call them. Absolutely. Pritya, I would want to know from you, uh, so many judgmental issues we all of us are facing. How do you break this? What do we do? You know, I think it's it's just about saying, I'm going to listen to myself. I, like I told you, you know, um, the video that you just saw has that line saying, Lokir Katha Tumi Shuncho Kano. And that's what I keep reminding myself because it's especially as an actor, as a public figure, you're that much more susceptible to people's opinions. You're that much more in the glare. So I have to constantly remind myself of that. But what amazes me is that even when um, people are choosing professions that are not, you know, uh, the regular run of the mill, what they're actually doing is stepping out of their comfort zone, overcoming obstacles in their path, and just saying, listen, I'm going to do what I want to do, doesn't matter what the world thinks. And uh, they become our role models. Yeah, they become our role models. And I think today, increasingly all around us, we have role models. Absolutely. And then we have a very special someone who is going to be, who is already over here. Do you want to mention her? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Harshini, who is the first female fire officer in the country. Uh, okay, I'm sorry because I was supposed to have asked you all what you think her profession is, but I just got excited uh, on meeting her. I actually met her at the airport yesterday and um, she's, she struck me as someone who's, uh, you know, very confident and uh, she just said hi. She said, I'm meeting you tomorrow and we did a picture together and she didn't say beyond. We were both rushing to take the flight. And then today I see her in a completely different avatar and I realize that this is the first female fire officer in the country and I'm completely awed, Harshini. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the first firefighter, woman firefighter in our country. And uh, at this point of time, may I have a little bit of tali? What do you say? Jodi hat tali. And jodi hat tali. Nash tali is not going to be out. Lunch is 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 going to be out. और तो ज़्यादा ताली बजाएंगे तो लंच और ज़्यादा जल्दी सर्व होगा। कोई बहुत ही सिंपल सी औरत है। She wears her hair long and सबकी ये ही धारणा थी कि इन्हें तो घर में रहना चाहिए, घर संभालना चाहिए, housewife होनी चाहिए। और उन्होंने dance school शुरू की सिर्फ दो students के साथ और आज उनके डांस स्कूल में 80 बच्चे जाते हैं। That's commendable. That's actually commendable. Round of applause. ये आपरा में रहती हैं। Ruby Ghosh. But Ruby को मैं स्टेज पे इनवाइट करूँ। इससे पहले विदा। I would want to share her story on a A V if you would allow me. Great, of course. So can you please have the A V where I am going to we are going to see Ruby as one of the role models. इनको तो मैंने कह दिया पर आपको बहुत बहुत बधाई देना चाहती हूँ कि आपने किसी भी तरह के जजमेंट्स को या बेरिया नहीं बनने दी आपके रास्ते में और आप यहाँ तक पहुँचे हैं बहुत बहुत बार अकेन ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर डांस को एक ही चीज मैं कहना चाहूँगी आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस्ड इट इन माय लाइफ एंड � these two wonderful women here, Harshini and Ruby. I think what you do, you know, all of us are leading lives on our own terms. Importantly, I think, don't judge us by the length of our hair, uh, by what we wear, by what we, um, you know, by the way we walk. All we need is a nudge, so please don't judge. Thank you so much. And Ruby, I want to say that you want to know your struggling life, your journey, what do you want to do? 